All right. So now that we've gotten a lot of the uh, kind of, again, the, the foundational elements done, and pretty much all the boring stuff, let's get into the fun stuff. This particular video, what I want to do is actually start adding some content. And what we'll do is we'll add some content to where we have a slideshow here and we'll change the header and actually start getting the site looking like uh, like an actual website. So I've already got some pictures set up. What I'm going to do is go in and create a couple of posts. So we're going to add new posts and we'll do, let's do hybrid vehicles. Okay. And I'm not going to get into the content so much as I will just the, the pictures uh, for right now. I'm going to choose Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this Prius image. And once that uploads, we're going to insert it. I'm going to go left. Let's go full size and insert into post. Now the way I'm going to do this, it'll be a little unique per theme. Uh, obviously this is the headline theme. I want to do custom thumbnail. We'll do from the gallery because we're going to choose that exact same vehicle. Okay, so now I've got that as my thumbnail. I could also do embed code, do some other stuff there if I wanted to put a video on the home page. And actually, you know what, I'm going to go back and I'm going to change that. That image is a little bigger than what I want. So let's, let's go with that medium image. Okay, that's perfect. And then I can actually add content. Little trick I'm going to show you real, right now too is if you go to the edit button for your images and go to the advanced settings. So you see where I'm at advanced. One of the things that tends to happen is content will stack right up against the image and it doesn't give a really appealing look. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a CSS style to move that over. But I'm going to do it without having to know anything about CSS. I don't want to border on this particular one, but I'm going to do 15 as a vertical space because I don't want the text pushing up against the bottom of that image. I'm going to take out the top margin. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go in and put do the same thing for horizontal space. And once again, I, I do want the image to tuck against the left part of the page, but I want space on the right so that the font or the, the text once again doesn't just jam right up against that image. So I'm going to delete that. So now I've got a, a, a pad of 15 pixels on the bottom of the image and to the right of the image. And since it's going to be on the left, it'll give a, a nice look. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that so I can use it on the next image that I put in. And then we'll update. Okay. And you'll see when I put my cursor in, I can go blah, blah, blah. And my content is got a nice little padding around it. Okay, so now another thing that I've done is I put a tag, which is what is going to put it on the home page of my site. So my tag is featured economy cars, and we'll add that. And now that I've got that set up, this will now show up on my home page. And I also want to put it under my category. So when I click uh, on hybrid vehicles, that this be this this post will be part of it. And what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll add some content in here about hybrid vehicles. Um, we'll do an H1 tag. We'll do some things of that nature. Actually, let's do hybrid vehicles. DF. W. Okay. Let's highlight that and we'll make that an H1 tag. Let's go ahead and go here, paragraph, and then heading one. Okay. So now this is my tag. I'll put some content underneath it that um, has to do with this and you know what what kind of gas mileage you can expect, what a hybrid vehicle is, and then we'll actually add links from this page back into the site, maybe into vehicles, maybe back even to our main site for uh, SEO. So now we're going to publish that one. And then I'm going to add a couple more and, and just edit the video so we can have a few on the home page. Okay, now that I've got a few of them, 
Uh, let's go to our page and refresh. And now you'll see what will happen. I've actually got a slideshow that has the vehicles on the side here. So those are my thumbnails. I could actually add more content here. This is the content that I started to put before. Uh, so we've got, um, again, just more content going. And if I select any of these, so if I select fuel efficient vehicles, my posts will start to come up for fuel efficient vehicles, which is perfect. This is exactly what I want to do. We'll start adding some content on the side for our posts. If I have 10 of these, they'll all stack one on top of the other. And each of these posts will be a page in and of itself. Okay, so now that we've got that going, let's go ahead and change the look of the side a little bit and go into the theme options. Um, one of the things that Woo, Woo Themes provides is a, a, a variation of style sheets, and each of these is a different color. If we go ahead and change to the cool theme, go back and refresh. So that'll change the look of the top of the site. And now we want to add a logo as well. It also has a custom logo area. I'll browse out to a file there. And then we'll select our image. And once that loads up, we want to uh, once again insert into post. And now I've got Economy Cars DFW. And once again, we're going to save. Go back to our site and refresh. And now we're starting to get a site. Um, we'll just need some more content across the top. Uh, we'll probably add some vehicles or do some things of that nature to, again, just kind of uh, keep it flowing. Thank you very much.